Michelle Phillips, best known as a member of the iconic musical group The Mamas and the Papas, has led a life as melodious and intricate as the songs she sang. Beyond her celebrated musical career, her personal life has been a tapestry of high-profile relationships and marriages. Join us as Facts First presents Uncovering Michelle Phillips' Love Affairs That Got Her in Trouble. Michelle and John Phillips Michelle Phillips and John Phillips shared a relationship that was tumultuous and artistically fruitful, marked by professional and personal highs and lows. Their union played a significant role in the formation and dynamics of the Mamas and the Papas. They first met in the early 60s. At the time, Michelle was a teenager and John was already married with a child. Despite the age difference and John's marital status, the two began a romantic relationship. They eventually married in 1962, with Michelle becoming the stepmother to John's children from his previous marriage. The couple, along with Denny Doherty and Cass Elliott, formed the Mamas and the Papas in 1965. Their harmonious vocals and John's songwriting prowess led to a string of hits, including California Dreamin' and Monday Monday. Michelle's beauty and voice became one of the defining features of the group. While the band was achieving great success, Michelle and John's personal relationship was fraught with challenges. Infidelity was a recurring issue. Michelle had affairs with both Denny Doherty and Gene Clark of the Birds, leading to tensions within the band. John, on the other hand, was not without his own indiscretions. The internal dynamics, combined with the personal issues between Michelle and John, led to Michelle being briefly ousted from the group in 1966. She was replaced by Jill Gibson for a short period before returning. Michelle and John's marriage ended in 1970, the same year the Mamas and the Papas disbanded. Despite their divorce, they remained connected due to their shared history, musical collaborations, and their daughter, China Phillips, who herself became a successful musician as part of the group Wilson Phillips. Michelle and Jean Clark Michelle Phillips and Jean Clark's affair reportedly took place in the mid-60s. This was during a particularly tumultuous period in Michelle's life, especially considering her on-and-off dynamics with John Phillips and the internal tensions within the band. Jean Clark was a pivotal figure in the 1960s rock scene, known for his songwriting prowess as a founding member of The Birds. His contributions to songs like I'll Feel a Whole Lot Better and Eight Miles High solidified his reputation as a significant voice in the folk rock genre. The exact duration of Michelle and Jean's relationship isn't well documented, but it's generally believed to have been a brief affair. Given the overlapping timelines and the close-knit nature of the music scene in the 60s, relationships like these weren't that uncommon. It's rumored that Michelle's affair with Clark, among other factors, contributed to tension within the band. John was apparently aware of the affair, which added to the strain in their already complex relationship. Both Michelle and Jean moved on from the brief affair. Her professional and personal life continued to be marked by highs and lows, including that eventual divorce from John. Jean, on the other hand, faced challenges with substance abuse and left the birds multiple times, pursuing a solo career and other collaborations. Michelle and Warren Beatty Michelle Phillips' relationship with Warren Beatty is one of the many high-profile relationships and rumored affairs that have been associated with the two. Around the time of their rumored relationship, Beatty was one of Hollywood's most sought-after actors and notorious playboys. He was known for his relationships with numerous high-profile actresses and singers. His charm, good looks, and success in films made him a constant subject of tabloid interest, too. The exact duration and nature of their relationship remain somewhat ambiguous. Both were known for their numerous romantic entanglements during this period, and their affair was just one of many. It's worth noting that neither Phillips nor Beatty have extensively commented on the nature of their relationship in public forums. After their brief affair, both Michelle and Warren moved on to other relationships. Michelle and Dennis Hopper Michelle Phillips' brief marriage to Dennis Hopper is one of the most talked about episodes in the annals of Hollywood's relationships, primarily due to its remarkably short duration and the intense circumstances surrounding it. Michelle and Dennis, both prominent figures in the 1960s Hollywood scene, had known each other for some time. Hopper, by the late 60s, had established himself as a rebellious figure in Hollywood, 
known for roles in films like Easy Rider, which she also directed. After her split from John, Michelle and Dennis Hopper decided to get married in 1970, but the marriage was infamously short-lived, lasting only eight days. The brief duration of the marriage was reportedly due to its extreme volatility. Hopper, known for his intense personality and struggles with substance abuse, later admitted that he was heavily using drugs during this period. In various interviews, Michelle described those eight days as terrifying, hinting at the chaotic nature of their union. Hopper once quipped that seven of those eight days were spent partying. Given the tumultuous nature of their relationship, it was no surprise that the marriage ended quickly. Michelle sought an annulment after just over a week, marking one of the shortest Hollywood marriages on record. Despite the chaotic nature of the brief marriage, both Phillips and Hopper moved on with their lives and their careers. They would occasionally cross paths in Hollywood, but largely remain separate in their personal and professional endeavors. Michelle and Robert Birch Michelle Phillips's relationship with Robert Birch is less publicized than her time with John Phillips, but it was a significant chapter in her life. She met Robert Birch, a radio executive, in 1970, and the two began dating. They eventually got married in 1978. The marriage lasted several years, but like Michelle's previous relationships, sadly, it ended in divorce. They separated in 1982, and after that, they largely stayed out of each other's public narratives. Michelle and Stephen Zacks Michelle Phillips's relationship with Stephen Zacks is also a notably more private and less publicized relationship than her previous ones. Michelle and Stephen Zacks, a plastic surgeon, began their relationship in the late 90s. They tied the knot in 2000. Unlike her previous marriages, Michelle's relationship with Zacks has been characterized by stability and longevity. The couple has managed to keep their relationship largely out of the limelight, which might have contributed to its enduring nature. They remain married at the time. And while they've largely maintained a low profile, they have made occasional public appearances together at events and functions. But they've generally kept their personal life private. Michelle and Granger Hines Michelle Phillips' relationship with Granger Hines was a significant chapter in her personal life, distinct from her earlier high-profile relationships within the music and entertainment industry. Phillips and Hines began dating in the late 70s. The relationship lasted several years, spanning the late 70s and early 80s. But it was significant in Michelle's life as she and Granger Hines had a son together, Austin Hines. Austin was born in the early 80s, and his birth added a new dimension to Michelle's life, as she balanced motherhood with her career. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of these relationships was most surprising to hear about? Let us know in the comment section below.